All right, if your barbell rows look something like this, then you need to stop immediately. Whenever you're training your back with emphasis on the traps and rhomboids, like a barbell row, you want to allow your thoracic spine to bend or your upper back to round to protract your scapula and stretch the target muscles during the eccentric. And if you just use the common baby wrap momentum technique where your back is nearly vertical, you're just gonna be significantly limiting the range of motion because you're not allowing the muscles of your back to fully lengthen. Not to mention, using a technique like this makes it much more likely to ego lift and use momentum, making it harder to accurately gauge where true muscular failure actually occurs. So instead, Instead, drop the weight, bend over as far as you can without rounding your lumbar spine or lower back, and either stand on top of something or use smaller plates so that your upper back can round at the bottom without the weights hitting the floor. Once you can no longer tap your stomach with the barbell, that is when you've reached true muscular failure. And although I can't guarantee cake like mine, I can guarantee 50% off with code MAXI all day tomorrow.